Oh wow. Oh wow. Now then, today I am fishing in a town centre which couldn't be further from what I normally like to do with one simple aim to catch a big perch. Now I initially got onto this spot seeing a few pictures on Facebook and I've also been talking to a few people who have said it's a good place to try if I want a chance at a really big fish. Now I don't normally head out specifically trying to catch a big perch but that's what I'm doing today. I've got about four or five hours on the bank. Let's see if we can get that dream PB. Now for my setup today, I'm using the trusty semi-telescopic rigged and ready fish rig 180. This is a really light, really sensitive rod, perfect for perch, trout and chub fishing. And down to the business end of things, I've got the Mollick Stick Flex and the Predator Tackle exclusive colour. I cannot wait to use this and I think that's on a Z-Man Ned Rig Jig Head. I'm not sure if I'm even saying that right, but yeah, I've been talking to a lot of people who are much more knowledgeable on the topic than me and this is what they're saying to use at this time of year. Now I believe these are what's called a finesse bait, which means they don't actually have that much action, which apparently is a real advantage when you're fishing in winter. The Predator Tackle website is the only place you can find this exclusive colour. Hopefully today it's going to work a treat. So like with any other spot I'm fishing for the first time, I've had a good look on Google Maps first and sort of worked out a brief plan of action where I'm going to hit first and last. So first now and last when it's going dark is a big sort of turn and circle. It's the main bit of structure from what I can see on this canal and hopefully that's going to be where some big ones are. On the way though, I am going to have a little go around all these boats because perch love boats don't they what a cool place this is to fish though i mean imagine living in one of those houses over there i would love that nice bedroom up in one of those windows you could just open your doors in the morning and have a few casts Well, I have to say, what a cool place this is. I've not fished many canals in a while. I've been focused on lakes and rivers, really. But just walking along here, it's reminded me why I love it so much. This place is just full of features, full of culture, and hopefully full of fish. Well, you can always rely on a bridge, can't you? Hopefully, anyway. I mean, at least for the smaller fish, which I'm more accustomed to catching. I may well be excluding some of the small perch with the size of the lure I've gone for, but hopefully that's going to help me get through to some of the bigger ones. So here we are, this is the main basin. Going to fish this for about half an hour, I think, then go on a little adventure, but on the way back, as it's getting dark, this is where my, yeah, this is where my hopes are highest. That was a funny looking dog fully jacketed up with its, with its balls hanging out the back of its little fleece. Fish on, fish on, yes! We've got one, we've got one on. Right, get the net out. In fact, I don't think I need the net for him. Famous last words. Look at him, he has absolutely smashed that. Let's get him unhooked and take a closer look. There we go, first fish of the day in this basin as well. And what a beautiful one. It's got a little belly on it as well. Really nice way to start. Well, that's not the really, really big fish we came here for, but I have to say it has just given me a new lease of life and a good bit of confidence for the method I'm using and how I'm using it. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get back in there and try catch that big one. And back in we go. Going to head straight to that same place because with a bit of luck, there'll be something else around. I did just swap my retrieve up a bit from a faster, bouncier approach to just a sort of tickling it along the bottom approach. Stumbling across some really cool features on this canal, but still no bites for quite a while. Been about half an hour since that last one, but I didn't think it was going to be quick today. I knew it was going to be slow, but just how slow remains to be seen. A new surprise around every corner. 
can't wait to have a few drops under this bridge, but I just want to see what's around here. This is cool. There's got to be a fish just tucked in between Jack and Jill here. Looks like the perfect little ambush spot. Come on. Well, it looks like I'm snagged. That's a risk you're taking though when you're fishing right on the bottom. There are going to be snags there. And we'll have to get a new one of those on. It's the pain of using a fluorocarbon leader whenever you snap off. You've got to retie it, but this rigged and ready fluoro is just perfect for the job. There we go, ready to rock and roll again. What an absolutely beautiful place this is, I mean. Look at that. So it looks like the way this bridge is built, it overhangs slightly, so I'm just bouncing my thing right the way along. But look at that, that just looks like it gets cooler and cooler around there. Check this out, this is definitely not something you see every day. There's gotta be trout or something in here. That just goes on and on and on. I'd love to come back here in trout season and check it out. Get the old waders on and get right in there. So I've just stopped for a quick coffee and a cake, refresh myself, give myself a bit more energy, and now I'm back fishing on that same basin that I was before, hoping that if there's gonna be a good fish around, it's gonna be here. We've got about an hour, an hour and a half until dark, so plenty of time. Just gotta hope that they're here. I'm sure as dusk comes, they'll start feeding, so if they're here, hopefully I'm gonna be in with a chance. Now anyone looking to get some winter perch lures just to add to the box or to get something that's really effective in the colder weather, I'd highly recommend you check these out. And that's not just based on my recommendation, that's based on the recommendation of people who know a lot more than me about the topic. I'll leave a link to where you can find both of these in the description below. These jig heads in particular, the rounded shape, sort of rounded flat shape on top lets them sit vertically underwater so that the fish come down onto them and just little twitches move it along the bottom and give it a really nice presentation. Oh, I missed the hit, but we have got a good one on here. Oh, my camera was turned off. I've only just realized. I don't know what this is. I hope it's a big perch. I think it is. I think it is a really big perch. Oh, this is a PB, I think. Where's my net? Where's my net? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh wow, that is a huge perch. Oh my days, that is a proper fatty. And we've got it in the net, come on. Yes, oh my days, that is a beast. Wow. There we go. I've asked the passerby for a bit of help because it's a little hard to photograph a fish like this, my own, in the dark, but look at that that is my biggest ever perch and i could not be more happy about it i think that fish is just shy of 40 about 39 centimeters and a pb what an absolute bruiser of a fish oh that's the one that's just done the job thank you predator tackle well, it's been hours and hours of casting away without even a bite, and we finally got our, re uh, our, our reward. It has been exceptionally hard work. I mean, it always is when you're hunting that one big fish, but we got there in the end. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you for the next one.